What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. The most frequently asked question I get in my DMs on my Twitter feed on my YouTube comment section is MDT, how do you make your figure belts? Where can I get custom WWE figure belts? How did you do this? How did you make your MDT championship? Where can I buy one? All of that good jazz. I get that probably at least once a day. I get somebody asking me how I do it. So I figure today is finally the day that I will show you guys how to make your own custom championships. There are a few ways you can do it, but I am going to go through the entire process and what you will need and everything to make your own custom belt. Obviously, you could just make your own figure belt if you just took a paintbrush and some paint and you know you were good with it. You could just take paint to that thing and start, you know, doing whatever. But for mine, there were a different few processes, and mine were made by Showstopper Custom Figs, but he has made it known that he is probably not going to make any more. I was the only one that he would do it for, so shout out to him, huge shout out to him for helping me out with mine. However, I did make my own version of mine, which we will show. Not nearly as good as Showstopper Custom Figs, but it will help you guys out on what some options are for yourselves. And I want to give a shout out to Curb Stomp City Custom Decals because he also had a helping hand in making all of these belts. So now that we have covered that guys, let's go ahead and get started. So getting into the materials you will need to make your own custom WWE figure belts guys. Right here we have all of them. We have some Millie Putt which is just some sculpting clay that you will need and I will get into that in just a few moments. But you also need a Dremel to sand down some stuff if you're trying to replace some logos or you know you don't like that little flap on the belt or you don't like that little sculpted piece that Mattel put on there. I don't want that eagle on there. You could sand it off. You have some sculpting tools right here to help manipulate the Millie Putt you know. Put it how you want, add some details, some little jewels, whatever you want to do. You have your paintbrush, obviously, to apply the paint that you will also need. So that is all of the materials, guys. Um, going to show you here, right here on the MDT Championship. I don't know. Let me zoom in. So you see here where the MDT is. That is Sculpt. So you, what you would do is you would take your Millie Putt right here and you would, um, well, I guess the first thing you would do, you would need to take your Dremel and or sandpaper if you just have sandpaper it'd probably be more difficult but if you have a dremel right here what you would do is you turn it on and you would you know take off the wwe logo that was once there and then once he did that he came in with the millie putt or the epoxy sculpt whatever he was using and he filled it in then he waited for that to dry came back again with the millie putt and then put the mdt in there so let's say you wanted to put you know any other logo your own logo you would sculpt in your logo on top of the filled in spot and then wait for it to dry and then you would custom paint it. So that's how he did that. You see how it's like lifted up? That's because he sculpted that in there. Um, another part is this right here. These are decals. So you can either print off your own, which is what Showstopper Custom Figs did, or you can go to Curb Stomp City and he can do some for you as well. And, you know, just tell them that you need them small enough to fit on certain side plates. You know, you tell them which side plates you would like them for and everything. You may have to get your own custom logos. If you have your own custom logos, you may need to get with somebody who makes them in order to, you know, fill the need. Because I know that if you just print off some random Google image, it's probably going to be really pixelated and stuff. So you want to make sure that you get high quality images so you can make out what they look like. But that is pretty much for the MDT Championship. Right here on the Extreme Championship, it is a lot of decal work. Obviously, uh, Showstopper, all he did was paint the U.S. title. Then I gave him a bunch of logos, and he came in and filled all of it in. So, you know, he is just an absolute beast. They're so clean. But here is ones that I made myself, and this is basically just uh, decals. Um, what I did was I had all of my logos, obviously, three separate logos. The MDT, the Elite, and the Champion right here. Um, they were three separate logos that I made. I came together and made them one um, initial logo, put them on top of a blue background, and then Curb Stomp City was able to uh, make me a decal in the shape of the center plate right here. So all I did was I sanded off the WWE logo with the Dremel, and then I came back with that decal and just slapped it on there. So that is this is the easy version of the Elite Championship. Showstopper Custom Figs has the other version of it. But you see it is flat, it's very nice, side logos on there as well. So what you're going to have to do is just basically make a bunch of different logos that you would like or get with somebody that makes custom logos and then um, 
come in, do your sanding, or you can just straight up paint it. It's up to you, but I mean, there's so many different ways you can do it. Just be creative, be original about it. You know, I had all the ideas for these belts and I just went in there with a vision. And luckily, Showstopper Custom Figs, I'm very blessed with a great friend to make mine. But um, for future endeavors, I don't know if he'll make them anymore, so I may have to make my own. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much the process on how to make your own WWE figure belts. Leave a like down below. Try to get this video to 250 likes. Comment down below if you learned anything new from this video. Did I help you out? I know I didn't go through the process, but that is because I didn't even make mine myself. But if I ever do that in the future, I will definitely do like a time lapse for you guys to show you how it's done manually. But that is the process. I showed you everything you will need all of the stuff that you could do to make your own belts. I hope I helped you guys out a lot. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.